okay so in previous video we discussed theoretically what is software switch so this is our topology what i need to do i need to make a separate topology there is no such space so that we can uh, use this software switch so what i need to do let me close this lab okay and let me create a new lab here and let me give them software switch whatever you want to give them and save and now it will open a new window for us and now i need to create such thing so i need one firewall one cloud one management cloud and three pc so right click here go to node type fortinet fortigate and keep in mind because we have different uh, things so you need to choose the right image fortigate fgt okay but i am using the latest one so i will use this one this is version 6 this is version 7 okay and you can give them any name so i firewall one you can change the icon if you want this one and you don't need to change any cpu ram because it's the demo license so you are not allowed to change now i need a three pc so node and go to linux from linux there are many but the one which we are interested in is linux uh, slack okay and here give them suppose pc and how many node we need at least three four whatever you want and let's change the name to client so let's change the icon to this client one and what else that's it we need three and let's see here so pc2 pc3 and let's change this one to pc1 because they start from two so it's basically we need to make them one as well okay and let them on here and let's choose like this and now i need two cloud so go to network and here let me change this to cloud in your case you cannot change the icon it will be straight away white cloud and here in my case i will use net but in your case you can connect them to your management one it's okay okay and here i will give them a name internet and click ok okay so here and now the last thing which i need is the port one which i will connect to management cloud so right click again go to network and this time i will choose management cloud zero and because an icon i can choose this one but in your case it will be simple cloud and here i will type management pc just the name you can type any name whatever you like okay because port 1 is already everything configured and DHCP is enabled, so why not use this port 1? So it will be easy for us to access the firewall. Okay, and we are done. Now what I done, uh, 3, 4 and 5, 2 is I connect to the cloud. So let's connect port 2 to the cloud so that I can create the same one. Okay, otherwise you can connect any interface. And now this should go to 3 to go to this pc keep in mind we are using different interfaces to work together as a switch so three four and five and you can add many okay but in this case i have only six interfaces in the firewall you can add more interfaces as well ah okay so i don't have because i done one small mistake later on i don't think so i can add it I thought let me tell you that there are four interfaces you need to make them six whatever you like let me see i can change or not i don't think so let's see yeah sometime when you are connected so you cannot change you need to remove all but in professional it's done okay okay now so one is connected to management two is connected to van port three four and five these are connected here so let me start this one and let me start this system as well until it start what i can do let me quickly change the style to flow chart this one and so that it can be distinguished and let's flow chart and let's make them like this so that we can distinguish them properly okay and let's okay and what else let me give them a name here let me give them van this is our van and this side we have land so let's go to custom shape and let's square round it and let's change the color and let's change this one and here is 
so let me drag here so this is our LAN okay what else uh, let me change this one until the device starts so we need to keep our cell busy so here is and also you can write this is our management so let me write down management so this is my management interface and until the system start let me type the IP schema here quickly so 192.168.1.0 slash 24 this I will use let me color them red and bold okay so this will be our LAN subnet oh sorry okay so this is our LAN subnet here is and let me duplicate this one my WAN subnet I already know in your case it should be management one so you can uh, find out 172 29 129.0 slash uh, 24 okay and the last IP if you want it is 20.254 this is my internet gateway what else and management I'm using 100 range so if you want I can type that one as well in your case it should be something else so 192 slash 24 because this port 1 DHCP is enabled so it will get any IP maybe 30 maybe 31 I don't know let's see now okay if I go back anything I need to show you no that's it and I need to make this interface as a switch these three interfaces so let me create uh, let me duplicate this one and make them small okay and let edit them it's too much so let small like this and let's change the color and what else I need to do that's it so at least we can put them here this is my three interfaces to make them software switch okay and let me type a line uh, software switch and let's change the color to red okay so I cannot drag them okay now selecting the other they put them in the wrong place so when you select okay and now let's now it's correct I thought just just to show you that's why I'm just doing this one okay so that's I want to combine these three interfaces as a software switch and let me put this IP now here so uh, first I need to configure this interface which is already port one is so let's go to firewall one admin there is no password one two three one two three and config system global and here you can type set host name host name suppose uh, firewall firewall uh, software switch and done okay we don't need to do anything show system interface question mark so it's get IP automatically 21 on port 1 I told you it can get anything okay so it's get this IP and everything is already enabled HTTP HTTPS ping so we don't need to do anything and just type in your browser and here type admin password 123 and what I can do let me go to begin and optimal and we are almost done okay so we done this one this the basic configuration I done and then I tap show system interface so it's give me this IP in this case it's 30 or something and then I give them the name optimal whatever now I need to configure the interfaces always I told you configure and give them proper name so it will be easy for you okay so what I need to do port 2 is my WAN so let's go to network interfaces okay and let's go to port 2 and give them a name when and change the role to when okay and ping is allowed and make them DHCP so it will get the IP from the cloud and click OK so port 2 where is port 2 there is so let's refresh it will get IP 172 something 
172.29.129 something. So still it's not. Let's check out again. Yeah. So let's get this IP. So we are done with the WAN configuration. You can make them manual if you want. The same range IP and ping is allowed. So my WAN is configured. Okay. And let's configure management. So it will be easy. For management we are using port 1. So let me type here MGMT. And you can make this IP manual as well. And we are done. And click OK because they say you are connected to this interface. It will give you a warning. So when is configured and then we configure the management interface. Now we need to combine these three interfaces. But I don't want to give them the name. I believe because it will not combine as I remember. But anyway, we will see. So now let's create a software switch. How? So go to network interfaces. Again, we need to go to create new and click on interface. And this time software switch. So soft switch and whatever SFT SW this the alias, but I will change the name where is software switch here is software switch. Okay. And interfaces is port three, port four and five. We are not using six, three, four and five. We want to combine these as a software switch. Okay. And no need of IP, you can assign the IP address as well. Uh, I believe we will need to assign the IP as better. Yeah, because we are using, maybe we will go out. You may ask, maybe if these PC want to communicate outside. For internal, it's okay. So it's better to give them IP. So which range we decide? This one. So let's go back and go to software switch. And let's configure the last IP as the gateway and only allowed ping and OK. So we are done and let's go back if I miss something. OK. OK. So I enable DHCP as well to make them easy. Anyway, forget about DHCP we will do. Now I have two choices to configure PC 1, 192.168.1.1, PC 2, 1.2, PC 3, 1.3. Then I need to configure subnet mask on these three PC. Then I need to configure the gateway. I need to configure the DNS. So what I can do, I can enable on this software switch DHCP. So it will be easy. They will get IP automatically. So let's go back to our software switch and here is DHCP. So from two, it will start from two. By the way, it has to start from one and the last IP we give to the gateway. So I will say 253 because I configured the last IP as a gateway. So the range will start from one and it will end with 253. We just need three IP by the way. So I enable DHCP and click OK. So that uh, I can save some time. These PC will get IP automatically. OK, so don't worry. We will discuss DHCP in detail and that's it. OK, and if I go to PC one, I'm sorry, you need to refresh. If you get this issue, just refresh. And now you can enable and you can open this one. So this is PC1, this is PC2, simple as right click here, go to network manager and let me go here as well, network manager, okay, and click connect because DHCP is enabled, it will get the IP automatically and click connect and let's go to PC3 as well and right click, go to network manager. Okay, and let's see it's you know, it's get uh, 35 something and connect. I don't know which PC to get. Okay, and connect. So this get to 1.1 this PC and this one get 1.2. But for some reason is get the 34. It's okay. We don't need whatever. So what I can do. So it's done. Close this one. Close this one and PC one. Now, if you want to verify, right click and go to terminal. It's like a CMDN window. And if you type if config, so one IP and if right click here and go to terminal. Okay. And if config, so 1.35. So one PC is left, which is this one. Okay. And right click and go to terminal. And if config. So two, so I can ping 192.168.1.1. 1 .1. Yes, I can ping without firewall policy because these three interfaces like a plug and play devices. Okay. And the other IP is what is 35. 
sorry 34 so yes i can uh, ping this one as well why if i go back and let me show you why i can we are reachable to each other because these interfaces are like a switch interfaces now so we combine all these okay as a software switch which is here two uh, sorry three four and five and we make them as a gateway because the next step which we want that if these pc want to reach outside right now keep in mind dns is not configured so let's configure dns and let's configure 1.1.1 okay and there is no static route configure because our target was so that these pc can reach each other without any firewall policy so let's configure static route and static route let me choose the gateway 172.29.159.254 so when for this one okay 254 172.29.120 in your case it will be different you need to choose that one and click OK and the last thing firewall policy right now there is no policy but these PC can ping each other because we don't need any policy when they are doing communication internally we make these interfaces software switch and they are just plug even though these are different interfaces but they can they, they, they are just like they are connected with the same switch now next thing if I want that PC one can go outside can I go let's see now ping a dot eight dot eight dot eight so no I cannot the only issue is DNS is configure which we configure right now DNS is okay one thing we need a DNS then we need a static route which is configure now there is no policy configure so let's go to firewall policy and create new and let's say software switch to when whatever the name you want and here choose that if the traffic is coming from these three interfaces which is software switch and they want to go outside that's why we give them names so it's easy for us and if the source is any pc it can be pc 1 2 or 3 and if the destination is anything and if the services is anything net them and send the traffic outside now it will start work then i will question your answer so let's see it start yes so the ping is start if vlan is configured on different interfaces after switch yes okay yeah i got your question let me explain you now you can see yeah, it's going now and even if you want to check the browser so it has to work now in that scenario you know every scenario has different uh, implementation so don't think and don't put the other scenario and this scenario it means you just want that uh, if it is like this you know for every scenario we have different approach of interfaces so now you say that if we have different vlan so let me first show you that internet is working or not it has to work by the way so yeah it's working if i go and you can verify the traffic from here definitely if you go to 40 session so session should be generate okay yeah you can see tcp and also icmp packet is there okay and also port policy website application source everything will be there so we have 35 pc 1.1 pc and 1.2 pc right now i'm sending traffic from this one so that's why it's showing more session this one the one which i open okay uh what else i will uh, get back to your question let me see if i miss something so right click and check the ip these ip and then uh, we send the traffic to each other without firewall policy i show you that there is no policy required there is no policy required uh, if they want to communicate with each other but if they want to communicate someone else then they require a policy so in this case i show you just the web browsing and internet access okay and so we configure static route then we configure firewall policy and then we test so it's going outside okay now let me come to your questions okay so let me close this one